it like saw everything, I hit the ground, looked around, see if there was anything to get behind, there wasn't. So they said, let's go, and we got to get off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running, huh? yeah. There wasn't no the cover, no, no huh? No cover. No cover. But I, I did, I, you I, run. I hit the, hit the, you hit the ground there, <laughs> looked around. <laughs> Well, well, you're zigzagging and you run, just Everybody followed, so yeah, get off there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there wasn't nothing to get by. <laughs> Probably not, no cover. Yeah. There was another th um, gun there, 37 millimeter, sort of a bit higher up, up uh, above that. Um, yeah. yeah. There was another one there. It wasn't a huge gun he was firing. You were kind of boom, boom, boom. Right, right, right. He was th throwing right into it. You right. could see it, Joe. We come in. Right. Uh, that, uh, that bunker was knocked out by a half-track, okay? a half-track from the anti-aircraft battalion that had a 37mm cannon on it. It might have been that that you saw. Did you see the shells coming from a ship? Oh, yeah. Yes, okay, so it was we were, Frankfurt. We were right by the ship. Okay, okay. And all the radio, now I don't know, I would, just what kind of uh, boat it was, you know, but I know our uh, landing craft, we were with and I guess the... Uh, Hundred foot of it, it came in. Right. And then later on, I read about this destroyer. It was, mm -hmm. it was a thousand yards off the beach, and it all was far right away. That's why I put two and two together. There. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Might so it got out of the water, but actually there was there was bodies floating there, just right. in the waves, just hitting the beach, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's where I first hit the dirt at. Uh -huh. And then we got up one across the beach. So this these shingles were further out. Right. Probably the tide was closer to me. Now, <clears throat> these big logs were faced towards the bluffs. Uh, if ever you watch saying Brian Ryan, they're faced the other way around. They got that wrong. Because they were faced towards the bluffs. Because on top of these logs, you had mines. There were several mines on top of these logs. So at every different moment of the tide, a landing craft would hit one of these mines on top of the logs. So that's where they were forced to land at low tide. You had to send in assault engineers to take off the mines clear uh, gaps between the obstacles. Now, that meant that they had 300 more yards of beach to go before they would get to the seawall and the bluffs. They had quite a lot of distance to cover. If that wasn't bad enough, I think you gentlemen can, uh, can confirm that, there were a lot of sandbars off Omaha Beach. There were a lot of sandbars. And so instead of landing on the beach with 300 yards to go, they got stuck in the sandbars. Uh, and the ramp went down, and most of these men, when they got out of it, they were into neck deep water. Now they were very heavily equipped, they had a lot of equipment on. They were trying to get the equipment off, not to drown, but several of these guys just went down like a ton of bricks. If you were lucky, you made it through the water, you still had that uh, distance to cover uh, at the beach, under enemy fire, of course, from up there and from the flanks. Now the first company that landed here was A Company of the 116th Infantry Regiment of the 29th Infantry Division. 180 men. 16, 29th Infantry. They landed on Dog Green, this particular section of the beach, at about 6.30 in the morning. At 6.45 a.m., this unit no longer existed. Uh, all of these men had been missing in action, wounded in action, or killed in action in that first wave. Often, the men that were wounded in action, um, well, they died because nobody would be able to attend to their wounds, and also the tide was coming in. A lot of these men became missing in action because they were dragged back out into the ocean. Most of these men were from smaller communities from Virginia, Maryland. Nineteen of them from Bedford, Virginia, Bedford boys. Fourteen other Bedford boys died during the campaign, um, so 33 in all. Bedford, Virginia had the highest casualty rate uh, of all towns, communities in America. Um, and that's why the D-Day Memorial is now in Bedford, Virginia. Uh, I have a... I have a photo. Yeah, that's a wonderful book. Exactly.